And welcome back to the Dr. Anonymous show live on Blog Talk Radio. So this was an interesting week at my medical school, currently called the Northeastern Ohio University College of Medicine. And I've talked on this show before that they're going to change the name of the school to something I don't really remember what it is. I think Northeast Ohio Medical University, Neo Mu. So this does not make the news this week. But uh, on Tuesday, election day, the school chose to do something that they called organizational restructuring. What does that mean? They fired a bunch of people on Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know how many. I have some uh, some guesses out there. Um, but uh, but they let people go on Tuesday on election day. Why did they? Why did they choose Tuesday? Why not? Because it was election day, and all of the news organizations would be covering election day coverage of national, state, and local races. They wouldn't care about some firings that happen at some school somewhere in the middle of nowhere. And I got some emails about that here uh, this week, about uh, some people out there who are pretty upset about this. One of the people that were let go was at the school for over 25 years. 25 years gave their heart and soul to the school, was told, you no longer work here, please leave the building. Don't worry, we've already deleted your email address. We've already taken your identity out of here. Now you need to get out. What? What is with that? And there were some other people, too, that uh, were let go. The school themselves sent out an email to the students And I was able to get a copy of this email. This is dated November 2. And the title of the email is Organizational Restructuring. I'm not kidding. So it goes like this. The school is entering an exciting yet challenging time with a new president, new programs, new partnerships, and a newly developed strategic plan, the university is poised to take positive steps forward that will benefit all students and the educational opportunities afforded to them. With the new strategic plan and the separation of role of president and dean of medicine, a review of the organization was necessary. In the first phase of the reorganization, The size of the leadership team was reduced and its efforts were refocused around strategic initiatives. The three deans were asked to serve together as the overall academic leadership for the university. This approach reinforces interprofessional education and provides the new College of Graduate Studies with the best platform for growth while fully retaining the ability to deliver high quality education to our existing students. The next step was to review the structure of critical support operations in academic affairs, health, professions, education, and student affairs and admissions to ensure that the university was efficiently and effectively supporting students, faculty, and staff in all the three colleges now and in the future. During this review, The economic downturn and ongoing state funding cuts became clearer and anticipated 15-50% cut in state educational funding. Fortunately, the university 
cut $1.7 million from the budget, but this amount will likely be insufficient to avoid further reductions. Ultimately, the university must diversify its revenue sources in order to mitigate the loss in state funding and not to create large tuition increases. And this is, this is the good stuff here. The steps taken today were very difficult, not only for those who were directly affected, but for the entire school family. The restructuring plan eliminates eight staff positions as well as five vacant positions. We are working with the staff impacted by the reorganization to assist them in their transition. The plan also provides for the recruitment of six critical positions to fully meet our personal needs in our academic and student support services. While our restructuring eliminates the roles for associate dean in health, professions, education, and assistant dean for uh, student affairs and admissions, we have added two associate deans. And this is closing by saying, uh, while you may no longer be working with the same individuals, we believe this new structure will enhance the services you receive and will have the positive impact on the university. The restructure allows each college and faculty to have a direct res responsibility and oversight for curriculum and academic program development. We appreciate your patience as we begin this implementation. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so in the midst of restructuring, they had to let go of some people. And I also learned today that uh, the new president of the university... His salary is $370,000 a year. This is according to a uh, newspaper article. And the new dean of medicine, his salary is $350,000 a year, which adds up to $725,000 a year for two people <laughs> in this restructuring process. So, you know, I mean, hey, I definitely understand the state of medical education, especially in the state of Ohio, where there is no money. But, you know, you have people who are loyal to the school for decades. Decades. And they are let go in this type of fashion. Now, I do admit I don't have any kind of first-hand information about this, so this is all second-hand, so this could all be inaccurate. That's my disclaimer. So I could be way off base, but these are some of the reports that I'm getting. And also some reports that I'm getting is that, of course, the climate, the morale at the school, especially among some students, very upset very sad trying to get more explanation about what happened to some of their favorite people now of course if you go to the medical school site there's no press release i've uh, searched some local newspapers here it looks like the school has not made any kind of official statement to the press or to the public as of yet that I'm not surprised. But the manner in which this was done, if I'm hearing the reports correctly, very upsetting to me. And unfortunately, not surprising, because I've spoke out against the school before on this show about some of the decisions that they have made, including the process by which they are renaming the school and uh, not really getting a lot of feedback, a lot of input, except from those in the inner circle. Makes me very sad. Makes me very sad that my school, the school that I went to, the school that I graduated from, is pulling stuff like this. It's sad. It makes me sad and it makes me angry that this kind of stuff is happening. I feel worse for the students. I feel worse for the students who go to that building every day 
and they are hit with news like this, some of their key support people are gone. And people that work there, people that have worked there for years, some of the people who have worked there since the doors have opened, understandably at this point, are probably feeling very uncomfortable, very scared, very insecure with their future there at the school. So my thoughts and prayers go out tonight to people who, uh, you know, who were affected by this, especially the people who no longer work there, but especially to the students who are affected by this as well. There's always exams going on at the school there. Hopefully it won't disrupt their studies that much. But unfortunately, this is probably not the last move like this that will happen from this school. I mean, for the economic times that we're having these days, it's sad. Probably more structural reorganization, restructuring will probably have to happen. But again, my my beef with them. <laughs> Why I'm upset is the manner by which this was done. The manner by which I heard that this was done. Maybe, of course, I'm off base. Maybe I heard wrong and inaccurate information. But if this indeed went down like I've heard it went down, it makes me very sad. <laughs> 